Hai, Assalamualaikum dan salam sejahtera semua. So today we'll be learning about Unit 5 Marketing. Today I'll be explaining the fundamental things about marketing, the basic stuff. So marketing, whether your organization is a profit organization, non-profit organization, there will be some someone or a department who are in charge of telling people outside of the company organization that this is our company this is our organization you want to tell information towards the people outside uh, of your company so you want to tell them that this is our business this is our products that we are doing this is our services that we are delivering okay and also you want to tell people that um, we are here to stay all right this is our benefit our value that we want to deliver to you you want to position that inside the mind of the customers so that comes to the concept where you want to introduce your brand this is especially important for a startup business um, for someone who just started a business you need to have a very good marketing plan or strategy to tell people that this is your business you want to keep on telling people we are here uh, this is our product this is our services we are um, we are located at this place um, and this is our price and you want to keep on telling people that you are there you are delivering this kind of products and stuff and also um, it connects to where you want to increase sales for your company especially for a company who's not doing well you want to do um, intensive marketing to tell people you have these products and it's better from the um, the product outside there from your competitor you want to tell that to your customers okay and so you want to increase sales so you keep on telling people that you have this and you have this discounts you have sales during this seasons Hari Raya season or during Christmas season and it brings us to also to it to strengthening your brand okay um, so it brings us to branding branding is where you create your first impression towards your customers or towards someone who is not your customers okay and branding it's where you position that you um towards uh, your towards people outside there that this is your brand you have this kind of credibility you have this kind of reputation among other brands in the market for example a smartphone what kind of a reputation does apple has uh inside the smartphone market what kind of reputation does huawei or smart samsung has in the smartphone uh, market okay um, other than that it's to build awareness to create awareness towards your customers or non-customers out there that your uh, you have this business and your brand is in this kind of market for example in the smartphone market so to do branding you need the assistance of having a brand name a brand name needs to be simple something that's easy for people to say remember and also it's um someone who can actually uh say um it's at the tip of the tongue okay imagine if you create a name le fleur a brand name le fleur, le fleur for a malaysian market um surely a malaysian can't actually remember that kind of name because le fleur is connected with french name okay so try to create a very unique very simple and also easy to remember okay the second one is the logo a logo should be simple and something that's easy to remember something similar to a brand name okay um, you can also follow the trend for example a geometric kind of logo um, there's more logo makers now so you can use that okay and the third thing is a slogan a slogan you can use a slogan to actually um, tell people this is the benefit you want to provide to your customers uh, a slogan should be catchy easy to remember 
um, perhaps you can make it rhyme okay um, you can create a song for it okay, all right and it does works for a certain brand for example if you hear i say i'm loving it what kind of brand comes to your mind okay uh, that kind of slogan they have attached it with a certain kind of song someone who have sang it before so it keeps on repeating 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 as it's on top of your mind okay um so a slogan should provide should tell the customers this is the benefit and highlight your brand and the last one is color a color should represent your brand okay whether your brand is something that shows healthy provides um, customers about your healthy lifestyle a peace lifestyle so perhaps you can use a color that um, that represents that for example the color green okay so a color it brings out the identity of your brand um, it represents emotions the experience and also the feelings towards your brand okay um, so that is all about marketing and branding I hope it does help you in creating your marketing plan, marketing strategy, and also branding. So I think that's all. I'll see you next to my video.